Now, as we showed you earlier, Mitt Romney, he leads in the poll averages by the slimmest of margins, but still, as we know, based primarily off of that one event last week's debate. But that's been something of a trend this election season. TV moments, for lack of a better term, leading to immediate and big time movement in the polls that's seemingly coming at us every day. And Andrew, this isn't just a snapshot. This is a pattern here, and you can go back to the primaries, and right? And it's happening in ways, Rich, in this election cycle that we really haven't seen before, turning tight polls into blowouts and turning polls on their end, one TV moment at a time. It has felt like part election campaign and part... You are safe for another week. And so it has been since last week's debate, as the polls move wildly reacting to the latest campaign TV event. We've seen this show before, last September. We need to get bureaucrats out of the business of trying to micromanage health care in this nation. Conference. He wins the debate, then Herman Cain jumps 22 points to the top of the GOP race, a lead that quickly disappeared. Or June 2011. And I don't see that it's the role of a president to go into states and interfere with their state law. Well, that's, that's... Michelle Bachman declared the debate winner in New Hampshire, a win that catapults her from sixth place to first overnight. Anyone remember Rick Perry? He went from a rumor to first place last year just from the talk he might run. And who can forget? A certificate of live birth. Propelling Donald Trump to the top of the polls, and he was never an official candidate. And still, the instant poll pops have continued with spikes through Romney's Olympic snafus, his 47% tape, and now Obama at the debate. Election Day is November 6th. Makes you wonder what we'll see on TV November 5th that might pop the polls again. Okay, so I haven't seen this part before, which is... Okay, there might be a movement or two. Remember, we were all told, guys, hey, 47% are in one camp, 47 the other. It's that undecided here that make up the balance here, the 6%. Mm -hmm. B.S. The variances of 9, 10 points in the course of a week, same poll, so at least they're working off, you would think here, uh, roughly the same denominator. Have you seen something like this before? It seems either that yes. they don't love these two candidates yes. at all, and they're so fluid, or that we're so about instant gratification that whatever the latest stimulus is, we're going to hop to. Well, I've seen it before. When you're the first of anything, it's very tough, seriously. And the novelty, we're you back. guys can laugh all you we're want. But no, 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 I'm serious, and I, and, I, and I know what I'm talking about here. Ask David Dinkins, ask Nelson Mandela. When you're the first of anything, and then you you know you're you're looking to to to, to come back. By the, way, the first the, time please, Mandela and Dinkins were in the same sentence, but go ahead. Yeah. Please yeah. don't compare Mandela <laughs> and Dinkins. Please, that, I mean Mandela is heroic. Okay. I mean they, they don't compare the two. <laughs> don't compare the two. That's okay. not fair. Okay, <laughs> the novel to a degree we can make fun, but to a degree President Obama is the MTV generation. The young kids got behind him. It was cool to vote for the black guy. Give the brother a shot. Americans even went with that, but the novelty is worn off. So all of his support, even though he was ahead most of this campaign, it was soft. And that one mistake in that debate, he may recover from it, but there's a strong possibility he may not. To his point, though, to be fair to Andrew, you showed before we even got to the Democrats, just in the Republican primary, names like Herman Cain and Michelle Bachman and Perry, and we can go down the line here, Donald Trump for crying out loud. Does it speak to something else that's going on? I, I can't tell if voters are giving their poll reactions based on that last performance. Oh, Donald Trump was making a lot of noise. I'm going to say I'd vote for him. Uh, or, or if people just have such tunnel vision that it really is the last thing that they've seen that, that influences their vote. Or if perhaps they're playing around a little bit with pollsters in that, you know, who am I supporting? I'm supporting the last guy who did something that... that but you know, I, I, don't Tom, know. I would think from your profession, it mm. changes stuff in that... We always talk about the October surprise. Yeah. With the attention spans, maybe we'll have November surprises. Maybe you guys will, instead of front-loading any money, back-load it all and only spend it in the last 30 days of the election. Does it change the mentality? Of the, we said the fruit fry electorate out here is to have instant gratification. You know, Give I, me eye candy. I, I think what happened with the last debate was it was really the, the, the first time. I mean, we, we're all under this now, is that you, know, you walk into an elevator somewhere and seven people are on the elevator and they're all looking at their iPhones. They're all doing something during a day. And I think the debate last week was the first time that 67 million people really said, okay, I got to pay attention to this. It, it's coming up now. Um, 
and I think that's the generation we're going to live in. I think uh, polling, because you you don't have, you have people with cell phones, you have people at, at house, and I know they're trying to, you know, get it down a little bit, but I think we're going to see these numbers but all over the place. And if you told me today that Barack Obama is up three or down three, I would say it's a close race. But that's a big part of it, Andrew, about this stuff. Shows like this and the 24-hour right. channels to All tell people right. how they're supposed to feel and 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 how it's the end of the world every day right. because somebody tripped on you know on a banana peel. But this also, I mean, and as a consultant, Tom, I'm curious because this leads to I would think a conclusion that it almost doesn't matter what you say as long as you say it well and say it demonstratively mm -hmm. enough and in a big enough spotlight. Right. I mean. I think, Andrew, I think that, that, that is something that you've hit na the nail right on the head, mm -hmm. is that the manner in which you say it, when you say it, how you say it, et cetera. I think that uh, going back to the beginning of politicians, all politicians, Republicans, Democrats, et cetera, have all minced words, changed their words, et cetera, et cetera. The, the two guys running this year are no different than any other politician, I, except really, is that really. one of them's an African American. I, you know, really. I think it really. changed. We were all trying to talk about They're this, right? They're all the same. No, Once not they all put the same. cameras Tell on me Kennedy different. and Nick Romney, Romney is different from any other candidate How? because other candidates have told us somewhat what they believe. You know, you're Romney, dumb, dumb, Romney you won't tell us anything. Dom, you Dom, can keep saying it's, that. It's this thing right Dom. here. It's the camera yeah, but, because but, but, just think. You go back in time. By all accounts, Nixon held his own. Maybe even beat JFK in that debate. The only thing they remembered was. He didn't shave and he had a flop set going and the other guy looked like somebody that belonged but in the see, big chair. Dominic's and that changed but everything. You, but, but where you're wrong about this is that my wife is a very, very, I mean, at times I joke that she's a Democrat, okay? And she'll tell me, oh, <laughs> right. And she had, after the debate and after watching 60 Minutes, she said to me, how are they saying that he doesn't have specifics? I heard what his economic plan is. I heard his battle because I can't disagree no, with no, your no, wife. But no, but you can. I'm just saying guys, that I, I heard save, it from I a person save time. who could go either way. I want to save time for our next conversation because I know you guys are going to weigh in personally on it as well. And just keep the dialogue going on this debate about the, the new electorate. Just go to Facebook and Twitter to sound off. Uh, speaking about the flip flopping of now the voters. All right, when we come back, though, we're going to open up a conversation about the conversation. New studies show that. If you have crucial end-of-life conversations with your parents, it relieves stress for all members in the family and for many of you out there. This isn't a hypothetical. This has been a sad reality. And from our table to yours, we can begin that conversation right after this break. Please stay with us.